The hardest shit ever when showing someone anything is getting them to actually commit to watching it. The easiest solution is to craft a quick, striking pitch that's geared specifically towards the person you're speaking to. Yo, dude, Akira's awesome. It's like the action in Aliens meets the setting of a dystopian Japanese Blade Runner. Plus, the animation is, like, legit incredible, and it is wicked brutal. Shit, dude, making a pitch like that can be really hard. And some people are fucking fickle. So, next best thing, show them a teaser. And I ain't talking like a trailer, because those suck. Do you ever think that modern life is not for you? This can vary from being a movie, an episode, a YouTube clip. Said YouTube clip will look like this if it hasn't already been removed. The episode approach tends to be the most effective in my experience. It's just the right length. Not too long, not too short. Therefore making for a very reasonable commitment. If you need to, intrigue them with one episode, and then hook them with the second episode. Then it comes down to the query of what episodes to show. And with some shows, it's wicked easy. Want someone to watch Golden Boy? Show them the swimming episode of the first episode. And want someone to watch Evangelion? Show them the first two episodes. They make for a really good, well-paced hook. Want someone to watch Zombieland Saga? Well, the first minute of episode one should sell them on that. Want someone to watch Cowboy Bebop? Show them literally any episode, as long as it's not a two-parter. Because Jupiter Jazz is comparatively pretty dull, and Real Folk Blues is the end. But what if what you want to show someone is relying on having more than just two episodes to weave its narrative? What if jumping in somewhere in the middle can actually be detrimental to your overall perception of said narrative? And damn, dude. Maybe even their perception of the show as a whole. Well, most of the time in that circumstance, you're fucked. Especially if the first two episodes just so happen to be really slow and fairly vapid compared to the rest. It really just ends up making for a super off-putting first impression. You ever hear of a little show called Legend of the Galactic Heroes? Now, if you're a new kid here on the block, let me lay it out for you. This Shakespearean-esque classic is considered one of the best animes of all time. It's got amazing characters, an amazing story, its world building and political groundwork are incredible, the battles are really cool and based mostly in like legit strategy. Imagine Berserk meets Game of Thrones meets Star Trek meets world history, while at the same time straight up stealing a lot of aesthetics and names from Star Wars. Like seriously, this shit is not even in the same realm as like 90% of anime. Unfortunately, the overall direction, as in everything but the story, is pretty so-so. Thankfully, you do spend most of the show looking at the bottom of the screen, so the overall poor direction doesn't really mar the experience, nor is it really noticeable. Plus, the writing is, like, amazing, so you're pretty much just reading a book that occasionally comes to life. And I say occasionally in very, very bold text. This shit does not move much. Fun fact, this was a series of books before it was a show. Unfortunately, that poor overall direction makes for a pretty damn boring first two episodes. We don't have much to invest this in the characters, and the pacing's incredibly slow. Only real reason to stick around is for the war tactics, but that's only about one-fifth of what this show's real intrigue is. And people who aren't all in on strategists that they know nothing about are gonna be like, Fuck this, I hate chess. So with really only one engaging thing in the first two episodes, story-wise, the only thing left to intrigue you would be interesting cinematography, sound design, and animation. Well, you know that's not there, I just said the overall direction is so-so. The classical music makes it feel cool and bougie, but visually, it feels like the director just wanted to bang out something passable as fast as possible. At least the drawings are good. So basically, we got a problem. Whoever you're gonna show this to is gonna drop it like right away, not even realizing or caring that they're gonna miss out on one of the best stories of all time. So what now? Well, there's a prequel movie, and hell yeah, it's not even an hour. Go show them the prequel movie. I am totally fucking with you, by the way. The first half of this, this bad boy, boy is like the cinematic equivalent to whale noises. <laughs> like, I love the show, and I will straight up say, this movie makes 40 minutes feel like 40 long minutes. Plus, where do you usually put on anime when you're in bed? I mean, I'm happy I helped you get to sleep, dude. Insomnia is a big problem for me, too. I'm relieved the Galactic Heroes and I were able to help you fix that. Not to mention, there's maybe like two words of dialogue that are actually pertinent to the other 120 episodes of the show. Once again, this show is long. Well, the first two episodes are whatever. And the prequel movie's whatever. So what? We're screwed then, right? Well, no. Because everyone who's already seen this show is screaming at me right now to get to the fucking point. 
They actually remade the first two episodes of the show into this almost perfect movie. Seriously, when I first watched the show, I started with the prequel. It did very little for me. But then when I moved on to the second movie, I was fucking ecstatic to start the other 120 episodes. I was straight up ready to binge that shit. And I fucking did. I finished the whole show in like less than a month. The initial opening is very striking, super interesting, and tickles all the right tisms. Cool ships, cool military, classical music, and it all feels so powerful just from like looking at it. Remember that shit I said before about mediocre direction? Well, the movie kind of fixes that. N not by much. It still possesses many of the most stereotypical visual issues a cheap 80s anime could have. Well, actually, technically now it's the 90s. But it's also got this incredible scene that's several minutes of just music, as the characters' pantomiming and facial expressions tell us everything about the scenario, developing and familiarizing us with them, their characteristics, and maybe even a little bit of their past without even using a single word of dialogue. Like, you're probably watching this now where I'm kind of editing around things in the video, and you're probably still getting all the visual information out of this. Legit. If that first opening didn't hook you, then this music-only sequence sure as hell will. It also fixes all the problems with getting invested the first two episodes had. You're quickly introduced to Reinhardt, Yang, Kirkyeis, Anna Rose, Jessica, and Lap, as well as several figures who will be more important down the road. But for those six, you're given ample time to get to know them and care about them when they finally go into battle. If something happens in that battle, thanks to the first half of build-up, the result would actually really mean something. And none of that is present in the actual show. There's no time to care about these people, and if they die, it's ultimately meaningless. It just feels like this whatever routine mission in a boring long space war. In the movie, it feels like this bombastic first clash of two super likable tactical geniuses, both of whom are fighting for a cause. Each side has real people on them, with something outside of space war to actually live for. Now pick your favorite and root for them. Fucking Wenli, yeah boy! I genuinely love the structure of this movie. The battle that takes up the second half of it feels not only earned, but also really engaging. They actually reused a lot of the more exciting footage from the show to make the space battle. You're essentially getting a best of. Now here's the thing, maybe none of this does anything for you. Maybe you finish the movie and you're like, that was cool, but it all seems a bit slow. Well, all I gotta say is, shit dude, the show's exactly like this. You probably won't be super into the show if you didn't like this, but at least you saw the badass movie. And honestly, I really wish more shows would do this. It is so perfect. And I just gave you a free pass to make service level Galactic Heroes callbacks and references with your friends. No thanks are necessary, you socially inept retard. Cool.